what are you waiting for? Actually good stories. <sighs> Me too, kid. Comic books. You poor, poor sons of bitches. Does anyone remember when C.B. Sapolsky took over Marvel Comics and was supposed to save comic books? Yeah, me neither. You know, I recently read a Marvel comic that was so good, it caused me to have a revelation. A lot of comic books absolutely fucking suck. And no, I'm not just talking about the SJW, LGBLT, XXX, Tentacion, Bang Bros, Pornhub, Propaganda Comics. I'm talking about all comics. Here, let me give you an example. How many times have you read a Batman story where a villain breaks out of prison or some shit, goes and does something evil, then Batman shows up, saves the day, beats the crap out of the guy, throws him back in jail, and then Batman's the same guy he was at the start of the story as he is at the end of the story, and the villain didn't change either and it's the same person all over again. That's literally every freaking Batman story. Even the ones that people consider to be like some of the best, like the killing joke. Batman's still the same fucking dude beginning to end. Now you could argue, oh, but he snapped and he decided to kill the Joker, but uh, since that story's a part of main continuity, there's no way around it, he didn't kill the Joker. He just threw Joker back in prison, so he really didn't learn any lessons at all in that story. The only Batman story that really comes to mind where the status quo changed was The Dark Knight Returns, and that story is fucking terrible. Seriously, don't read that crap. And then I started to realize that a lot of comic books are like this, where the character doesn't ever really change in a story or whatever, and even if they do, it all gets retconned in the end. The story I read where the character actually changed through the end and was actually a good story was The Unworthy Thor. Yeah, say what you will about that crappy SJW switcheroo they did with Thor or whatever and how dumb it is. It doesn't make sense how you can have someone running around with the name Thor even though they aren't actually Thor and Thor is a name, not a title and all that crap. And seriously, why would she be thinking stuff like, Ooh, I hope the Wasp teams up with me on this one. We need to team up more. Heh <laughs> girl power. When she has cancer and is dying and stuff, and every time she gets treatment, she'll turn into Thor and then it'll undo all the treatment she got. She should be worried about the fact that she's on her deathbed, not thinking stupid thoughts like a little 16-year-old girl. <sighs> Sorry, I just, I just really hate that. But uh, nonetheless, Unworthy Thor is a really great story and one of the best stories I've read in a long time. It actually has like action and stuff. The stuff actually happens. There's like villains and stuff. And the main character actually goes through like a character arc. Of course, he winds up getting his hammer back and then it undoes all of the good stuff that he learned in this story. Classic Marvel comics. One step forward, 50,000 steps back. That's the Marvel 2018 motto. But hey, modern day Marvel isn't the only one who's guilty of this practice. <clears throat> Batman. That's right, in the latest Batman number 50 or whatever the hell issue it was or whatever, Batman was supposed to marry Catwoman and everyone was excited and totally down for it. And then all of a sudden, she just left or whatever because I guess they're scared of progress. Which was extremely dumb or whatever. What, they think the fans were going to get upset or something? Literally every Batman fan I knew was excited about this. The only thing that I've heard about people reading that issue is people being disappointed that they pulled this crap. I haven't heard a single person who was happy that Catwoman didn't marry Batman. I'm a huge Batman fan and I'm totally down to read issues of Batman comics where he goes on, out on the rooftops and beats up clowns and then comes home to his super hot thief wife. So I don't even know what the hell they were thinking there when they had to do that or whatever. Other than that I guess the status quo can't change or something stupid. That's not the first time they pulled that kind of crap. Remember back when Spider-Man was married to Mary Jane for like the longest time and all of a sudden they broke them up or whatever because they thought that was what was poisoning the Spider-Man comics? I mean, I hate Mary Jane because she's basically just a generic valley girl personality, you know? But, like, I was happy with them being married, and I liked seeing Spider-Man be happy and have someone to come home with or whatever, and I didn't think it ruined the stories. You want to know what ruined your Spider-Man stories and was killing your sales? Crappy-ass writers who didn't understand the fucking character. But I'ma get deeper into that in another video. For some reason, comic book writers seem to think that fans don't want to see their characters progress any further. That they just want to see them in the same spot or whatever. And I'm sure some fans do, but a lot of us would like to see some progress or whatever. And I don't mean you need to have an old man Spider-Man swinging through New York or some shit. I just mean you need to like move his life along and have some differences and change up some stuff. 
Because right now, with the way comics are, a lot of comic books are boring as shit. And that's probably why sales are dropping like crap. Because there's nothing new or interesting that happens. It's all just the same shit over and over again. Bad guy breaks out, beat up the bad guy, lock him up, no lessons learned, nothing. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to quit comics or anything like that. Lord knows I can never do that. It's the only tiny form of happiness I have in my sad and miserable existence. Especially right now. Shit's really fucked. But hey, at least SJW comics are willing to progress their characters further. I mean, just look at Iceman's progress. Oh shit, 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 fuck! Go back, go back, go back, 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 back! Welp, I'm back from a hiatus or something. I don't know, I didn't release a video like I was supposed to. I'm, I'm not really sure what the hell's going on right now. Stuff, stuff, stuff's pretty messed up. I can't use the original crappy program I was using, so I have to use this new, like, sophisticated one. And, like, the computer I'm using is, like, slow as shit. And then also I'm, like, stranded in the middle of space because my ship broke down. And so, like, I have no Wi-Fi at all except for the tiny little bars I get from, like, this extender that I set up so that I can get Wi-Fi from a nearby planet. Also, occasionally when I take my little miniature skate pod that can hold very little fuel at all, can barely transport itself very far from this ship to go to like Mickey D's or some crap. And also my ship is very fucking close to a nearby sun, and so it's hot as frickin' balls in here, and I'm sweating my frickin' nuts off. There's also a dangerous space whale near me, and so I have to be quiet or else it's gonna like fucking hear me or some shit, and I'm probably being too loud right now. So I'm out here, miserable and depressed, just trying to survive and not get eaten by a giant space whale, you know, the usual. But uh, if you like this video and you agree with my opinions, then you should click like and subscribe and stuff, because cause my, my life's turned to shit, man. I, I could really use a pick-me-up. And then also I'm going to appear on Soy Wars at some point. Not, not sure when, but I, I will. So that should be, be fun, and maybe I'll get out of here soon it doesn't look like it's gonna be anytime soon i'm gonna get out of this situation but uh, uh yeah that's that's how it is uh see, see ya